All right, so we're going to stream into we're going to use StreamYard to go into a Facebook event. It's a little bit complicated, but it works pretty slick. So first of all, create an event. We want to create an online event on Facebook. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And then we're going to uh, do the privacy, whatever you want. <laughs> of course, private for this one. Um, go ahead and select next. This is important. You need to select Facebook Live. OK, they've made some updates to this recently, which is kind of cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and next that one out. Just keep going, whatever you need to do there. And then we're going to go ahead and create the event. After the event is created, you'll notice over here this blue button, set up live video. This is where you need to do a little bit of copying and pasting. So we're going to select that one. Hi. All right. We want to use a stream key. And these are the boxes we need to pay attention to. So now we're going to go into StreamYard, create a broadcast. None of these are going to pop up. None of your events are going to pop up. So you actually need to add a new destination. And that new destination is going to be RTMP server. So now you see um, the corresponding boxes pop up there. So copy the RTMP server URL. And then we're going to go ahead and copy the stream key. And all right, go ahead and add that and create our broadcast. <laughs> so this is where it gets a little complex because you have a couple different things happening. So hello, here I am. I'm going to enter the broadcast studio on StreamYard. I'm going to add myself to the stream on StreamYard. And then this is where you can, you can go live if you're ready to go live. So you can go ahead and do that if you wanted to. You could save this and come back to it and go live later if you chose to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and go live now. It's important when you click this though, that once you hit go live here, we're not live yet on Facebook. So we actually have to go back to Facebook. It's waiting for the live video. It's gonna start, okay, there we go. It's picked it up, hello. So now um, we're ready to roll here and we're gonna select go live and head up Facebook. <laughs> All right. So again, a little bit clunky, but it works pretty slick. And what's cool now is you can um, you can go live in multiple places. So I could go live in this event. I could go live in a group while I'm also going live on YouTube. So you're able to hit all the places. I don't know about all this extra analytical stuff. So this is cool. I just am not that fancy. So I don't know. I don't know about all of that. I'll have to play around with it. Um, but. Uh, this is news to me and let's see testing I'm going to show you I also haven't figured out how to pull up the event while um, while I'm streaming and so I'm going to show you here all right so so there's the event and look where the the cover photo is is your video and so instead of your video getting buried in the feed somewhere it's actually the cover photo of the freaking event is that not awesome so then it also is there oh, uh, now we got multiple things going so anyway i hope that helps um that is how you can stream using Streamyard into a facebook event um into multiple locations on facebook youtube etc and i am so excited to do some cool stuff with this. Bye.